Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, for the silver wolves, and here it is winter. I want to share one of my little tips and tricks with you that made my winter camping better. Okay. Now, this trick works in an enclosed tent. You can also use it in a small hooch, a real small cabin, something like that. You could even use it in the back of a redneck camper. Okay. And what this is, is a way to keep the dampness down and to keep it from being quite as cold. And we're not generating that much heat, but what we're really generating is we're kind of keeping the, the dew point higher. And we're kind of keeping the, the condensation to a minimum. And what I'm talking about is one of these big candles. Okay, everybody's seen the things on TV that, uh, and internet that pops up every fall, etc. Talking about how you can heat a house with just a couple of candles and a bunch of, of uh, flower pots. It does generate heat and it can make the room feel warmer. Okay? It's not going to work in your extreme cases, but it can work in certain cases. Well, a trick I found out from an old vet who had come through World War II was about making, getting a candle and putting it inside of a pup tent. Now he'd take the old canvas pup tent and he'd seal it around, get in it and button it up, and he'd put a candle burning in something. He said an old soup can or something and put a little water in it so it couldn't set anything on fire. And he'd get one of them beeswax candles that'd burn six, eight hours and put in there. And he said it made it feel warmer. It wasn't really that much warmer, but it felt warmer. So I tried it out, and I found he was right. Um, when I was running my wall tents, canvas wall tents, which are 8 to 10 feet long, 8 feet wide, that type deal, quite often in the wintertime, the dead of winter, we would leave a lantern, one of them kerosene lanterns burning. And it did make it feel warmer. Now, it's not so much as it's giving off heat, but what's happening is it's keeping the dew point up just a little bit inside that micro environment of the tent. Your breath doesn't condensate on the, the tent as much and it makes it feel warmer. It's like you're changing the humidity is the best way I could put it. And so for you old red wolves, I mean you old silver wolves that have been around for a while and you're going to be camping in a tent, okay, a trick that I find helps is a candle in there. A, it gives you a little bit of a night light. Okay, makes it a little easier when you got to get up and answer nature's call so you ain't got to turn on the flashlight. Or something. But B, if it's something like a canvas tent or something that's enclosed, a small hooch or something like that, it kind of keeps the dampness out of the air and you feel a little warmer. Okay? Now, I have had people ask me because I recently did the thing on the redneck camper about could you put a wood stove or whatever into a redneck camper? That's never a good idea because fire consumes so much oxygen. That's the problem. Whereas something like this, and like talk about putting a flower pot over the top of it, will help feel warmer in that room, in that small space. And I've done it in that redneck camper before of one of these candles that burns forever. Now you can find some of these candles that are about this size that are 100 hour candles. They're very dense, hard wax, not like this nice smelling wax and therefore burn a lot longer. Those are the ones I really prefer. I don't put any kind of covering over the top of it. I just put it in a place where it's going to be absolutely safe where nothing's going to get over it, fall on it, get, you know, blanket ain't going to be thrown over it by accident. It's going to be absolutely safe where it's at and leave it burning. And it generates just a little bit to make you more comfortable. And with us old silver wolves, it isn't so much that we expect to be absolutely comfortable. We know we're going to ache and hurt. It's cold, it's winter. But if I can just cut that chill just a little, it makes it just a little bit easier to get through. I'm going to do it. And the trick that I've learned over the years is a candle. It makes a difference. It's one of those things that when you look at it logically, it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. But I'm here to tell you it does, at least in my experience. I hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments down below. 
and there's going to be more for the Civil Wars coming up pretty soon. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.